Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Xenzo here with another video due to popular requests. I've been told to make a video on bridging, so let's do that. Uh, bridging is very simple, assuming we're all bridging to Metis. Uh, I would recommend you guys go to Metis.io. Here we can go to this top button, Bridge to Metis. So let's click on that. And so depending on which bridge or which ecosystem you're coming from will determine which bridge you use. So in this case, if you're using Ethereum, uh, you can just use this bridge right here, their native bridge. And they have a list of tokens that you can bridge with. So if you were to bridge with one of these and send $100 or more, you can qualify for their airdrop down here, 0.01 meters. In the case you're not using Ethereum, let's go down to their third party bridges. And here you can see there you got options uh, depending on which ecosystem and what token you want to use. You have uh, eight different bridges that you can bridge from. So personally, I recommend using Synapsis. I would also recommend bridging over a stable token. Reason being, um, having good liquidity on the other side of the bridge is very important. Two reasons why. One is my personal experience, where I actually bridged over uh, BNB over to the Metis ecosystem, but unfortunately there wasn't much BNB going around on the DEXs, and so I couldn't swap it anywhere, pretty much. I had to bridge it back to Binance, swap it to Metis on PancakeSwap, and then bridge it back over. There's another story where this guy thought that uh, the bridge didn't uh, bridge over his tokens, and after looking into it, it turns out that they bridged over his tokens, but uh, there wasn't enough Metis tokens on the other side of the bridge. And so he had to deal with a lot of slippage and that slippage pretty much wrecked them. You can see here in this picture, uh, if there was a picture, sadly, there's nothing to show here. What the heck? All right, so we can see here, he bridged over 180 Metis and due to the very high slippage he dealt with, all he got was 61.5 meters. So he pretty much lost like 60% of that bag. Let's just say meters was like 20 bucks. Man, he pretty much lost like $2,400 right there. All right, so that being said, now you know that you need one, you need to figure out what, where, uh, which ecosystem you're gonna use. Number two is which token you're gonna to use. Now number three is to check how much liquidity are on those bridges. So Synapsis has a very simple way to find out. You just click on the pool tab here and let's just say you're going from Ethereum to Metis down here or vice versa. You can see that uh, Metis has close to 5 million and Ethereum has 17.5 million. So you can see that they have a lot of liquidity. You don't have to worry about slippage. You should be totally fine. In my case, I'd like to use Poly Network because I have a bag of BNB because I'm a G, you already know. Um, okay. So let's check that out. If I can get this to work. So we're gonna go from BNB to Metis. And they have around 7,308 Metis on the bridge right now. So that's that's good, that's a good amount. However, if we were to reverse the roles and go from Metis to BNB, you only have 892. And so you might deal with a little bit of slippage if you were to bridge from Metis to BNB. You might end up like uh, this guy right here, turn into a bridge meme. All right, so let's go ahead and get a bag of Metis. I need to swap over to Binance, pancake swap, go to the swap. I have BNB, but I need to get swap for Metis. And then hit max. Zero two nine because I need some 
extra cash for the fees. Even though this uh, right here says $10, it's really not $10. You don't have to worry about that. And I will show you right now. So we're going from BNB to Metis. So let's go ahead and connect our wallets to both of them. Uh, click max. Approve. From here, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's done. Click next. Click approve. Paying a dollar and 48 cents. From here, it shouldn't take too long. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, once these bars fully load up, I should be seeing the Metis on my um, Metis wallet. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys are bridging over for the first time, I have another video regarding how to uh, lock Hermes in case you guys want me to free me to airdrops. Um, so check that video out too. Uh, thank you guys and have a good one.